Yeah, I'm not sure if the number three is the key number in dynasties, honestly. Yeah. Uh, and I think they're absolutely a dynasty because you, know, you go to the amount of championship games alone that they've gone to, and now you had you know fourth Super Bowl appearance in a in a very small span of time. You know, I don't know. Why I was so reluctant to use that word. I know we've argued on this show. To me, you know, the '90s Buffalo Bills were an absolute dynasty, four consecutive Super Bowls. And I understand the argument. You kind of have to win to be given really the big no D, kind of right? <laughs> well, you have to win. You okay, have to win. okay. One. And a silly argument to have today. Yes. But I argue. I would argue that point. <laughs> but uh, I would argue that. But I appreciate where you're coming from. I think we could both make salient points on the big D. But when it comes to me, and yo, know, I've, I've been looking for, the, like, I've been looking for the big D a long time. I just, I just don't want you uh, to say uh, Tom Brady, the Patriots, the big D. Okay. We all agree. Yeah. Right. I don't and know. now I, these, I mean, I don't if the, know about if the, the Kansas dynasty, City yeah. Chiefs are in a dynasty, then who the hell is? Well, it's, I, the Pats set the standard of dominance, right? So there, for me, it are it is a dynasty. But I think when it, where, with every dynasty comes a story, and I you gotta go to Patrick Mahomes, right? When he was drafted, he kind of told Andy Reid, like, "Hey, man, if you don't pick me at 12, I'm gonna be somewhere else." And Andy Reid was like, "Okay, kid, we got you." And they picked him, right? And you talk about Kelsey, pretty much his brother jumping, standing on a soapbox to kind of you know give Andy Reid the nod and say, "Hey, this kid's gonna be he's gonna be something for you." Then Andy Reid and his story prior to becoming yeah. uh, Chiefs head coach never really did anything. He always got there, but five chips. Championship games, one Super Bowl. It was kind of right. Kyle Shanahan. Right, right which is Shanahan. So, right. so for me. By the way, you notice how I didn't call Kyle Shanahan and San Francisco a dynasty, but Kansas City is a dynasty. I they agree. are. I They're so. a dynasty yeah. now. To be fair, you know, they've got two wins, uh, two Super Bowl rings on their fingers. Six straight so that certainly helps the yeah. argument. But, man, when you go to six consecutive yeah. AFC championship games, like what do you have to do, go to 11 before <laughs> someone will say, I'm, I'm bestowing you the honor of the Big D on your franchise? I, you know, I, I, it's, it's, you talk about this team not being uh, living up to the standard they set yeah. prior to the season, you know, going on the road, beating beating Buffalo and Baltimore. It was like that first. We had to get through Baltimore three times that year to get to the Super Bowl. And the last one, the AFC championship, was a big interception by Palomalo, intercepted uh, Joe Flacco, and – that was the one that was the Super Bowl we won. But going into the uh, the Super Bowl against you guys, our thing was this table set for us to win, right? Like everything right. that we needed to do was ready, was right in front. And of we us. probably would have started throwing the D around with you guys, yeah. uh, as well. Now I understand what you're saying that you're. I'm, I'm, I'm backing your point up by saying, Craig, you just said if they won, we would have thrown it around. They've gotten two. They've been to six straight AFC championship games. They're in their fourth Super Bowl in, what, six years yes. right now. Like, to me, and at the end of the day, I know it doesn't mean anything. Like, who cares at the end of the day? It's just good talk, you know, leading up to the Super Bowl. But if the Kansas City Chiefs are in a dynasty, what the hell is? Well, uh, Tom Brady and the Pats. The Cowboys, when they won the three. Like, teams that win, that complete that, that three. That's right. what we consider. Really? Yeah. I never like, thought of three like being the, the magic. The, I really uh, didn't. I never thought like, of Like, think about when yeah, we were yeah. playing, like, the 49ers are in a very unique situation, kind of similar to what we were in in Green Bay when we were playing against the yeah. Steelers. All the talk that we heard was, oh, this Steelers team, if they win, Stay are away they the a seven. dynasty? That's what the, that and the all theme. the talk. And we're like, I, we don't care about that. Yeah. Like, I don't care about their winning a dy- and being a it. dynasty, but it was real. We knew we had to. There was some validity to it. Yeah. Had they won. Right, they so we learned a valuable lesson players. here, America. Uh, according to my friends who played the sport, I didn't play the sport. Jacoby, I don't think, played the sport. And let's, High school. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, so there you yeah, go. Great um, you have to win three to be considered a dynasty. You had, so, so now I know. Yeah, see, see, I just like, yeah. I'm one of these guys. Tell me what the rules are yeah. so I know how to break them. No, no. Um, I, I, but uh, three now is the magic number. So if I go to eight straight championship games <laughs> and six Super Bowls, but I only win two, I am not a dynasty. I need three rings. So I, I got it's, a, it. it's a combination of different checkpoints, right? I think Super Bowls are important. But the Chiefs are a dynasty because they've won their division for eight straight years. Right. They've been to the AFC Championship game for six straight years. They've won the Super Bowl twice, and they've gone to the Super Bowl four times. To me, that's a dynasty. Yeah. But 
If, maybe you don't have that long success, but if you win three in a shorter amount of time, then you're a dynasty. Uh, Billy's telling me on X right now that the only big D this week we should be talking about is drinks. Oh, but that's, oh yeah. That's, you know what? That's neither here nor I like, there. I like what we but get it out before be the honest, 8 o'clock hour. We quite impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Now we know why Bobby Altuff's husband left yeah. her. Congratulations, <laughs> Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is, he's okay. Jewish. That's yeah. the best part. Yeah. yeah. Big day. Hey, but let's. Woo-hoo. Big yeah, but, day. Yeah, no. We a, got one. We yeah. got one. We're a little black in that we coffee. Got, we got one. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying this. It's not all Jewish. Like, 50-50. <laughs> there you go, baby. Um, here's a segue for you. Speaking of dogs, Woody Johnson's the owner of the New York Jets, and he gave uh, his first and only uh, postseason interview uh, out at the Super Bowl uh, in Las Vegas. And uh, let's take a look at some of the quotes on the quarterback situation. We need a backup quarterback, but here's the best part of that. We didn't have one <laughs> last year. So, uh, sorry, Zach Wilson. Uh, they're going to trade Zach, we think, for a sixth or seventh round draft pick. On seeing Aaron Rodgers get hurt on the fourth play of the uh, season, what does it feel like to have your arm chopped off? No one How knows. How would anybody know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, but obviously not good. On the status of the team, uh, and this is the thing where Joe Douglas, the GM, and obviously Robert Sala, the coach, are on major thin ice. We've got a very good defense. If we can do anything, anything, anything on offense, we actually went multiple games without scoring a touchdown, and that's absolutely incredible. I'm a longtime Jet fan. He is on the Jets for the better part of, what, 30 years now, whatever it is. And I can tell you this. That is the most on-the-money, incompetent commentary Woody Johnson has ever gave on the status of the New York Jets. And here's the good news. He talked about we need to get another guard, maybe two. Yep. We need to get uh, another this, another that. He actually went position by position of what they need on offense. But here's the good news. If Aaron Rodgers is healthy, the New York Jets are as good a bet as any team in the conference to make the run to the Super Bowl. So laugh about my Jets all you want. We're running that bitch back. And if Aaron <laughs> Rodgers stays healthy, we are going to be in the playoffs next year. Think about this. The New York Jets and the New York Giants, about 20 years ago, built MetLife Stadium. Yeah. There has been one home playoff game <laughs> in that building between the two franchises, and that one game was not a jet game. You're 100% right. I think you're right about Woody, man. Having been a part of that organization, this is the most honestly and directly he's ever talked, especially in front in the public. Because that's not what he does. What, what he does, especially, he's always kind of like, you know, win one for the, the guys. They'll get better next year, on and on. But this is, you understand, this is the first time I think I've seen an owner, especially in Woody Johnson, buy in. I mean, he's wearing the chains. Yep. He's wearing all white. Yep. Air Force Ones. He's speaking to, you know, and, and I guess he's talking to Sauce Gardner. Like, don't have his parking spot and all that nonsense. But to fast forward, you know, this team, enough is enough. It's been enough is enough. Yep. But I think for Woody, I think this is the line. I'm just glad Woody Johnson didn't steal Jerry Jones on and go, we're all in for 2024. Yeah. I will tell you this. I, I was taking stock of the teams that did not make the playoffs this year, right? So, you know, the Cleveland Browns don't count. The Texans don't count. Uh, teams that did not make the playoffs this year, and you see the teams right there. Okay. I would say there are three of those teams that, are that if you had a pick of the teams that didn't make the playoff, who has the best shot to maybe be in, uh, in New Orleans next year representing the AFC? I think for sure the Cincinnati Bengals have to be there because yep. you get Joe Burrow back. I think the Chargers are there when you have Jim Harbaugh now coaching uh, Justin Herbert. And I think the New York Jets are there, assuming Aaron Rodgers is healthy. I think those are the three teams of all the teams that didn't get in that you would have to say if they're healthy, they have a legitimate shot of A, making the postseason and B, making a run. Is that fair to say? Mm. You want to add the exact same three I had. Okay. Exact same three I had. Gregor, go ahead. I, I mean, I, I love your Jets. Say Broncos. Say Broncos. I, I, I feel like this was their year, and they they missed the window. By the by the way, we thought it was the year also, yeah. and then our guy got hurt. <laughs> yeah. But why would next year not be the window? What's changed for them? Well, because this is another year of us not seeing Aaron Rodgers play. He's a year older, obviously. And, and for me, when you look, when you have a defense that yeah. has been that good. And they kind of get this lack of hunger, and I call it the foaming at the mouth, where you're yeah. just salivating to get after offenses and all the things. 
maybe that comes back if Aaron Rodgers provides them a spark. Obviously, there will be some type of spark sure. to start the season. But if he is not what they had hoped he would be, yeah. which assuming he is, but if he's not, I, there's... Yeah, but isn't it fair for me to say, as long as you have just some level of competence, that they won seven games, right? So all of a sudden, now I'm going to say to myself, so, I, I can't win 10 or 11 games no, with yeah. a competent quarterback? I, I would push back because of the seven games. Like it's, We make it seem like, oh, because we won seven this year, we'll win eight, nine, ten. That's right, and we'll that's what I'm doing, add. for sure. But when you look at that list, yeah. there are a lot of quarterbacks that did not play. There are a lot of injuries that happened, obviously including the Jets. And so you have to believe the AFC is already a gauntlet. Yeah. Well, just do this. Patriots are out. Giants are out. Commanders are out. Bears are out. Vikings are out. Colts are out. Titans are out. Falcons are out. Panthers are out. Yep. Saints are out. Broncos are out. Raiders are out. Cardinals are out. Seahawks are out. Pretty much, uh, I just did it the other way. And I still wind <laughs> exactly. up, shockingly, with the same three. Well, the Bears, yeah. I think the Bears could, be, could be a playoff team. You think a playoff team? Yeah, it depends. It depends. Caleb Williams and Justin Fields. So you think the third place team in the, that division? Maybe. Could possible. Be a could be a wild card team? Yeah, the Jaguars oh, to turn around as well. I wonder who the Bears quarterback's going to be next year. Much more on that coming up, of course, in the next, you know, every single day for five months. Um, <laughs> we'll, have you, we'll have you all over that. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.